Okay, it's been about 12 hours since uh, the glass taping and the epoxy is still uh, in the green state. It's not fully reached uh, hardness yet and so it can be overcoated with more epoxy uh, without having to be sanded. But before I do that, I'm going to clean up the edges of the fiberglass. I've already started to do that a little bit, you can see there. And I use a uh, power sander. Um, just a little power orbital sander and it's hooked up to a vacuum cleaner. Now if you don't have that, um, you can use just a cabinet scraper and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that here. Okay, so I'm just using a, a little cabinet scraper here and I'm just going to scrape the edges of the fiberglass to knock off the hard edge and I'm going to do that all the way around and that's going to just knock off that hard edge and get the tape ready for a coat of epoxy. Okay, I just got done scraping the edges. It only takes about five minutes or so to get this bay done. And I've lost that hard edge now on the fiberglass. And that's just gonna make it smoother when I coat with epoxy. So, um, if you don't have a sander, this is a good method, especially since it doesn't make um, fiberglass dust. And if you do wanna use a power sander, I highly recommend uh, using it with a vacuum suction. Um, but uh, this is definitely a alternative method that doesn't require a power sander. This is the bay that we were filleting and taping yesterday and uh, today I gave it a coat of epoxy and so tomorrow I will just make sure that there aren't any little dags or sharp points in there and then I'll give it a second coat of epoxy and this, this tank will be done and I will have never had to sand this. And after I did my keel batten today, I finished up the filling and taping of the other tanks as well as the anchor locker. And after that uh, gelled up, I put the first coat of epoxy on that. So tomorrow I will go over these bays and scrape the edges of the fiberglass and make sure there aren't any sharp points anywhere and I'll give that a coat of epoxy as well. The goal here is to not have to do any sanding in these bays by using the cure window of the epoxy to get the next coat of epoxy on. So just to go over my method here, first I filleted the corners, then I waited for the fillet to harden up a little bit, and then I went ahead and taped the uh, fillet and after the fillet was taped, I waited for the fiberglass to harden up a little bit, which ended up being the next day. And I scraped or sanded uh, the edges of the fiberglass, and then I applied a coat of epoxy over everything. Um, and uh, then after that uh, hardened up, which was later today, I went ahead and put a second coat in. So this bay has never been fully sanded, but it's now coated with two coats of epoxy and uh, sealed, and uh, it's done. So uh, once this hardens up, I won't have to sand it. Okay, yesterday we started doing some filling and taping, and uh, today I worked pretty much all day. This is about day six of... Uh, since I started working on the kit. And uh, the first thing I did today was glue in my keel batten. And the keel batten in this boat is made out of a one by four. I've rounded over the edge and I've uh, used a table saw to cut uh, an angle on either side and it fits right down in here. And the biggest thing with the keel batten is making sure you glue it down with uh, a really generous amount of thickened epoxy. So what I did is uh, marked it, cut it to length, and uh, mixed up my thickened epoxy and really generously put it in there. 
and laid the keel batten in place and held it down in the middle and then I fastened it to the hull with uh, screws and pads so you can see between each wire I screwed a, a um, short drywall screw up into the keel batten to pull it down to the to the bottom of the boat and you can see I've left my wire ties still in place so that's been sitting there most of the day and uh, now I can go in and remove my screws and pull out my wire ties since that epoxy is already um, gelled up.